Okay, so now we're gonna get into defense. So I just want to show you how important defense is. So you know, low parrying is really strong. Maybe making sure you are able to launch stuff properly is, is, a, is a really key tool as well. And not only that, it's just about being able to backdash and being able to move as well. Like you need to be able to move and move in when it's ready. So. I'm going to show you in this exercise, look. You need to know your low parry combo, that's another thing as well. You need to know which ones to block. Like this, uh, low parry is really good to get the maximum damage. And then these ones are very good to launch because you get the maximum damage and after launch. So let's get into the first thing. So with defense. I want you to show me how to do low parry by setting, well, picking a character. Well, I'll say pick Heiachi. Pick Heiachi and do down back two. So let's set it down back two. Now, with this, you can either launch or low parry. Now, just block it for me for first part. So I want you to block it on reaction. So as soon as you see him go blue, this is all the training you to kind of like do things on reaction. So now once you block this, you can have a low parry. So to low parry, you just hold down forward. So can you successfully show me how to do low parry? Yeah, so the first one be over 30 damage and your block combo has to be over 50 damage. Now, just by talking about this, can you clearly see the difference in terms of damage? So when you block a move that actually does a low a, a low stagger, so as, they call it the block stun. So look, he doesn't have a block stun on this, but you can clearly see by just looking at the blue parts that Jin recovers a lot more quicker. So like you you want to not do stuff like this. You wanna you wanna get the the maximum combo and you wanna get the. So that's 52% before hitting the wall. So you want to punish them and say, look, I want to be, I, you can't do this to me. And if you do it, you will get punished. Doing stuff like that is not going to get you anywhere. You need to make sure that they get this punish, you get this work. So just make sure instead of low parrying, low parrying, you get like 30 damage or you can get maybe 40, depending on if you catch, catch the wall. Um, just make sure you just do it properly. Or you can even do, I think you can even do 3 plus 4 afterwards. Into whatever. So can you show me that successfully please? So as you saw then, that's 74 damage with the wall. Now, this will make the opponent not want to do that again or if they if they feel lucky then it will make them feel like they don't want to do it as much so you have to make sure when you're doing when you see moves like that just react fast as soon as you've seen that you've blocked react fast while standing punish get your combo and make sure that you inflict on them that's why it's called punishment when you do things like this and it says punish it's you're punishing the, your opponent to not do things that are unsafe block something that could potentially lead you to 50 damage or more and only punish with maybe I don't know a 10 damage it doesn't make sense you need to know your while standing combos so as soon as you block a move that is like a low launcher and you can you can launch punish them go ahead and do it and get your maximum damage we're gonna set Heiachi to do forward 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 two. this is his launcher yeah this is his launcher now once you've set that, I want you to restart. I want you to backdash. One, two, three. So this is about the right distance. Now, I want you to press play and I want you to launch punish him from here. Now, what happened there was, if you move back correctly, look. So what happened here is you created space. Uh, to something that we call whiff. So what a whiff is is that you pretty much do a move which is close but it doesn't hit you. So what that means is that that person is unsafe because the move has not hit you, it's not put you in no block stun or anything because you're still there. So once you're here like this you can do whatever you want. 
So I could do, see like I'm putting blocks down now because of that move. So you have to get in a good range. So a move like this, you can do back to one as well, Jin. Just to make sure, or oh, forward forward two would be a good move like that to catch people with him. Just in case. So, can you show me a perfect example of what I just done? So set Heiachi to do forward forward two, back dash three times, and yeah, just once he does forward forward two, punish him. And I want to see 50 damage combo from the whiff punish. And that would be the, I would say that would be the maximum I would like. Or just even show me just an example of you doing maybe a move that punches his whiff. But if you want to go the extra mile, if there's people that are intermediate watching this, yeah, 50 damage, please. Okay, so also with defense now, we're going to go into movement. So people know about movement uh, per se. They know that you can back that. Some people will, will, will like this because they're scared, right? I understand this. I understand this method yeah but you have to learn backdash cancel and I know some people might not get past this part of the, the, the exercise what you have to do and I'm going to teach you very carefully I don't know if you've seen the video of me explaining the Korean backdash or I don't I just call it backdash cancel it, but I'm going to explain it to you now so it is back back down back right back back down back 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 down back 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 down back 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 down back you're, what you're doing is cancelling your, your, your crouch so it's like this just do it slow See, if you feel like it's hard for you in a match, just do the crouch. Just do the crouch. Just do the crouch. Even even if like you might be like, nah, it's not like how other people are doing it. You just do it. Just to get away. Like, just learn it. And then what happens is, is that you start to do it properly like that. And you can get your movement out. So what I want to do is I want you to show me Successfully, you're doing a Korean backdash three times or backdash cancelling three times without stopping. So it shouldn't be it shouldn't be too hard for you. And if you can't do it like constantly, then fair enough. But at least show me you can do the crouch backdash. you can do you could do side i call this side step dash which is it's, it helps people because it's hard for them to do korean back dash so if you feel that it's hard you can do back back step back back step back back step back back step this is just to kind of like get your way into doing korean back dash so you can do back back step back back step back back step back back step like that it's not exactly this the the, the korean back dash or moving in, in the back dash line but it will help you so just back back, tap down, back back, tap down, back back, tap down, back back, tap down. You'll be moving around a lot in a 3D motion and you, it won't be as like you're doing Korean back dash. Korean back dash is literally like you are here, you, you're moving in a straight line back. So this is just to help the people that don't know. I'm going to set another one to 2-4. Which is another throw. I didn't set another one to two four throw. Okay, and then we're gonna set another one to his command throw, which is one plus two break. Okay, so now what happens is, is that I want you to play and I want you to successfully break them. Now the break throws you have to either one, one or two, one plus two. Yeah, one or two or one plus two. See, I've successfully broke I'm breaking them. See, you have to know which one's which. So you can't just predict, you can't just predict them. Sorry, I wasn't even ready for that one. Because I was explaining this. You can't just predict them and be like, oh yeah, well, I think he's going to do that. Look at the arms. The best way to do it is look at the arms. So when he does it like that, when he's got both arms together, you can tell. So that's how you throw a break. If you're a basic player and you don't know much about it, just break it like three times maybe. If you're intermediate five times, if you want to really go at it and you really want to practice, 
I'll say do it ten times and just show me for me, please. Yeah, so one some characters have one or two break throw, so that means you have to break it with either pressing one or pressing two, which can be hard, but at the same time, again, it's the same thing. In this respect, Dragonov has a this throw. Let's play it. So this, as you can see, his first arm has come, so that's a one break. You can just tell by the, the, his arm extending on the left. So, as I said, left punch is uh, one. So this is what breaks left throws. So look, if I see his arm like that, I know to break it. I'm just like, nah, I need to break this throw. Now he has another throw, which is a two break. So I'm pressing the wrong thing. Let me go to this. So he has a two break throw, which is this. So again, I'm gonna show you the same thing. Let's start this. So he has a two break, he's extended his second arm out. Yeah, so when he when he comes to throw me, I know to break it with two. And that's that's the way how to break out of throws like that. I would say there's a decent amount of characters that do have one or two break throws specific. Um not every character has it. Bob doesn't have it, Gigas doesn't have it, quite a few characters don't have it. But it's always safe to be it's always good to be on the safe side if a character does have it and you know the character has it just be on be on the alert when you see their arm just make sure that you you throw you throw break it the right way king is another one king has loads of throws and you have to break it specifically be between one or two or one plus two um just make sure that you're on you're on guard you're on you're just alert and looking at the arms because sometimes if you're blocking and you're you're just constantly blocking everything they're gonna want to break down your defense and you're gonna need to know what throw break is what so yeah just make sure that you guys and girls are just alert when you see these things okay so there's several ways to get up and you know I have to kind of tell you the ways how you should get up so set dragon off as your character and set him to do this throw here the, uh, Victor clutch yeah now I just want you to see that there are ways that you can get up out of this stuff like this so I'm on the floor now uh, he's above my head you can get up by doing free but then you can get punished so let's set the throw again now you can get up by doing down free and people might just stay back and wait for you to do get up kick so just be careful just be careful sometimes the better way is just to just get up and just don't do anything that's the better way sometimes just just getting up that way look how much space you've created you're there like just by pressing forward i think that's the best thing doing get up kick is good and all but sometimes it can be very very risky and you can get with punish for it people will just stay in the right range for you to just do something stupid and then yeah you're in the air so just be careful set dragon off to do reverse victor clutch and I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna show you what to do. This is gonna help you. Let's go. Now I want you to press down one and hold down one. Alright, so now you have a list of options on how to get up when facing up. So you have three plus four, which is the get up kick. Okay. You have down three, which is a good move if they're close and you wanna get away. So we're gonna do it again. So he's close by now to our feet, right? So if you do that, which is down three, which is the kick, that means that if you successfully hit them, that means that you it will kick and you roll back, but they might do a, a low crushing move. So they might do like, I don't know, Dragonoff has an up forward four, which is a good move. Or is it up forward three? I think it's, yeah, no, up forward four. I an up forward three that would crush that. So you have to be careful. Or you can press three. Or you could press four, which will get you up with a get up kick, which will be a mid. So like this. But like I said, sometimes it's best to just be just to be safe than sorry. Sometimes it's best to just get up and move back like this, and just just create space. Doing get up kicks and stuff, people will whiff punish you. So just be careful. So if you can, if you can show me demonstrations of all three, or was it four that I done low, mid, and the get up kick? Or just getting up four, sorry. So if you can show me all four of those, and yeah, I think that will be it on the defense. Now we're gonna move on to combos. Excellent.